Robinson, not a university student, is the, uh, the youngster to get it underway, second half. Nice tap back, good work from Nigel Dacre to ensure possession retained. Robinson again, he's got Colin Bisley in support. There's the switch pass to Bisley. Nice round the player, well, should have gone uh, up a bit, but they retained it fair enough. Rowan Barty, all good play. One against one here, Barty backs himself, and Barty's got to pull one back here. Terrific break, terrific pace, courageous run, gets the reward. And the first try of the tournament for Hong Kong gets a special cheer from the crowd in this opening game. The 22-year-old who made his debut here three years ago, it's about possession in sevens, and they've struggled to get anything in the opening seven minutes. They got the kickoff, they replied, and have a look at this, the acceleration is the key here, bang. Straight through the would-be tackle from Andrew Walker, and then he backed his pace, pinned his ears back, and that's a lovely way to open up your account. Well, telling us what might have been, maybe, from the disappointments of the first half, it's a good comeback, maybe the start of a dramatic comeback. Rowan Barty, who was part of their World Cup 7 squad, another who has come through the ranks of Nottingham University, the 22-year-old, has put them on the board at 70 points to five. Plenty of time enough, but winning the ball is the must for Hong Kong now as Andrew Walker sets Australia on the uh, counter-attack. This is Tim Wright. Get organized, get organized back. Penalty here, the player on the ground is obstructing. It's a penalty to Hong Kong, says David Keane. And what will they do from here? Andrew Walker is poised to take. Defense! Defense! Uh, Queens and Reds very successfully. As, uh, Hong Kong attack again. Fan Shun Kei is the uh, man who just come on. I was just checking on the replacement at, at any time, of course. The switch by... Australia, Andrew Walker once again, eyes wide beyond his reach, went forward anyway. I've been impressed by Nigel Dacre, the captain. The turnover there came with, because he had knocked it on, but then he worked so hard to get back to make sure that he was making the tackles, and big tackles as well, on the dangerous players like Walker. Debut tournament, Fan Shun Kei feeding this scrummage, a 21-year-old from the DA Tigers to Robertson, and certainly Rob Mackage is quite deliberately is building for the future, introducing these youngsters early. Well offloaded in the end under real pressure, Colin Disley. Robertson and Ricky Chuck outside. Almost through. Good tackle, but there's a lovely return pass. Clever chip and chase. Ricky Chuck on tall on the bounce. He's there. Try number two. That's his 14th try, 14th career try, second for Hong Kong, 15th try, actually my mistake, but what a beauty it was, they've now got, they've had possession, that's the key, but look at this, the support, and he is the face of Hong Kong, Ricky Chuck, beautifully weighted kick, he watched, he waited, and then he pounced. Now the pressure really is back on Australia, what a comeback, Hong Kong 12, Australia 17. So no comfort zone for Australia now. The Wallabies, who've never lost to Hong Kong in the five meetings prior to this one, are under pressure, and Hong Kong have tails up. Kick is bouncing into touch. Flag is up, and the referee says no. It could be a line-out, not a free kick back for Australia. Got a replacement, I think, coming on for Australia here, which is James O'Connor. Another top-level player making his debut. He's from the Western Force Super 14 squad. And they'll be feeling the, the pressure of this now, will he? Uh, mine haven't. They haven't had too much possession in the second half, hence the reason Hong Kong have closed the gap to five. Set up that time by Mackay. Now it goes via Walker. This is the new man, O'Connor. Just pirouetting out of the tackle is Peter Owens. Danger time here for Hong Kong. Owens takes on the chase of Robertson, who covers well and hard. Time for cool heads for both teams here. Pressure piles up on Andrew Walker. Now the ball is loose and Hong Kong have it back. 
only for the referee to call them back for an earlier knock-on on the 10-metre line. You can always gauge how, how enthusiastic a team is on their defence. And when Owens made the break, there were at least three or four Hong Kong players that were just busting to get back. That's a healthy sign, Nigel, and it suggests that uh, Rodney McIntosh really has put a lot of faith and a lot of fitness work has gone into this team. Well, he has with the uh, chatting with him in the hotel, the team will stay, all the teams stay in the same hotel, and he was telling me about how he really uh, leapt in confidence, as Squad did, by winning that tournament in Wellington, which, of course, you all have heard about at close quarters back in New Zealand. And there's a penalty here, though. The ball's not released quickly enough. It must be instantaneous, if possible, and... Uh, it was the mistake of Chan Chung Kei. Squeeze! And it's Push it, it, Tom! A minute and a half to go. Australia uncomfortably ahead, but five oh. points clear. That's the key moment, the key line at the moment. This is Mackay. He's playing in his 15th tournament. And possession retained. It's the key factor with Connor to James Liu. This is Luke Inman. Oh, it's a pass that actually was knocked out of hand but went backwards, recovered by O'Connor. Danger out wide if they can distribute. Murphy is well bounced, but up the middle and through and away. That could be the one to see it. James O'Connor on his debut, who impressed with the Aussie squad in the Red Hot Sevens in Darwin, has scored his first try. And what an important one for the Wallabies. What a master stroke by Bill Millard as well, the Australian coach, to get fresh legs on there. The, the Hong Kong team all there, and it was the slip here. There you can see just off camera number 10, Keith Robertson actually fell over. And good awareness by James O'Connor to take, go through the gap and to extend their lead by 12. And with only 30 seconds remaining, that wraps it up with the conversion good. It's 24-12, no time to score twice. But how close Hong Kong have been to upsetting the top seed in this pool. The other two in the pool, it's not an easy one for anyone because it's France and, to my mind, one of the real underdogs who will challenge the best, and that's Tomer. Good ball won by Mackay. The whistle is gone. It matters not for Australia. Disappointment for Hong Kong, who lost that game in the first seven minutes. They made the mistakes. Australia capitalised on it. Remarkable and proud comeback by Hong Kong to show really they were better than they appeared early in the game. 24 points to 12, Australia on their way, and Hong Kong show they are a force to be reckoned with here at home.